guys welcome to daddy dies crafty corner today i'm going to be sharing with you a little haul from the not too shabby shop so if you are not familiar with the not too shabby shop when she sends you your goodies that you order they come in this pretty 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 pink envelope which is probably my favorite thing i have to say i just love getting it also, you can re you can earn reward points with the Not Too Shabby Shop. So for every dollar you spend, you get a point. You gotta log in to get these points, and so make sure you log in before you um, place your order. But you're gonna get a point that is going when you get a hundred points, you can redeem a five dollar off gift certificate. Plus, you can use my code Crafty Corner to save ten percent. Guys, it's a great way to get some of the stuff that you've been wanting and just can't quite reason yourself to buy it at the price it's at so it's a great way to get those products so go on over and check out Jamie's not too shabby shop I love it but you guys already know that don't you so here is her cute little card I'm gonna hold it up so you can see the website it's adorbs matches the paper just saying all right now let's get on with the haul i only picked up a few things and the reason for me picking up these few items was because i wanted only one of the stamps from the new release from my favorite things so on release night i jumped on over and i picked up the remaining things that i had wanted from lawn fawn that i was kind of on the fence about for the pre-order and then i went ahead and picked up these items but this is the stamp set that i wanted from my favorite things this time I thought these little puppies were adorable, absolutely adorable. I love the fact that there was this little Shih Tzu looking dog, the Poodle, and the Chihuahua. I love that little dog with the bows as well, and this one as well. So, so many dogs in my family look like this, and in fact, today I'm going to be working on a card featuring this and this dog for someone very special in my life. So, I had to have this set, so that's what I went over there for. It's super adorbs guys it's super adorbs those are very cute puppies and i think that they're dogs that we normally see in our lives every day so that makes it that makes it super super fun for me so i picked up this stamp set it is called canine companions and the sentiments read i'm a lucky dog to have you i knew i spotted a great friend when i met you i really dig you yappy birthday and for my best pal I just think it's adorable so I picked that up I also picked up the Nouveau glitter gloss brush um, pens the in clear and I don't know whether you can see that but that sparkle detail right there I did I already got this one started and I used it and I really like it the reason I picked these up was because I still have my crafters companion I still have a couple of those I haven't opened but all of my Wink Stella has run dry, and so I wanted to give these a try before I repurchased it. I haven't used them long enough to tell you whether I'll keep them in my permanent stash, like my um, Spectrum Noir glitter pens. But I will let you know. I did use them, and I do like them. They work just fine, so um, I'll let you know as I go along. But I am really seriously going to be using... If you can see this little textured piece that they put in there, I'm so going to be cutting that out with something else and using it. That is just gorgeous. So that's going to happen. So those are the Nouveau Aqua Shines in the color clear. They're the glitter gloss. And then I also picked up the replenishments for the gift card die that they just released. I did not pick up the gift card die because based on the measurements that I read on the website, I knew that I already had rectangle car, rectangle dies that would do the same thing. So I couldn't justify spending that $23, $25, whatever it was. It was somewhere in there. It was quite expensive. $25-ish, I think. Um, quite expensive for two little dies. So I did not pick that up. I just picked up these and I thought I would make it work with the dies that I already had. And I did. I'll show you that card in just a minute. So try it. Do, go get the measurements off the website and try your dies. See if you can come up with two dies that'll work. You're going to need a small one to put the hole in your card to put the gift card through. And you're going to need a um, larger one to put those two together to make your frame. Super easy. It only took me a few minutes to figure it out. So um, these are super nice. If you happen to like to give gift cards, I'll show you how I use mine in just a minute. 
And then I picked up something I've been wanting to try. These are the Nouveau Oval Tipped Blender Brushes. You get two of them in a pack. I really am not so fond of the fact that they're double-sided, which is why I haven't picked them up yet. Um, I do own the Clarity Brushes, which are super soft and give a nice soft effect. These are coarser and they're supposed to be more for stenciling. They're really much coarser. And um, I thought I would give them a try. And I thought since I had them out and had this out, we would go ahead and try it on a stencil while I had you guys together here. But first, let me show you the card. So here is the card that I made. Hold on. I just bumped the camera. There's the card that I made. So as you can see, that card is inside. The gift card is inside there. And I made the window. I used two of my stacking regular rectangles. One to cut out the hole um, in the gift card, in the box, in the paper, right? And then one to put the, um, the frame in. So super pretty. Really pretty. In fact, I just made the frame on this one. I didn't even make a hole. I'll show you what I did. So super pretty. And then on the inside, I put a zipper. So this zipper is, is the exact same size of the gift card, right? I measured it out, put it on there. But I put it on at the very top of this card where the card sits on the inside of the paper. So that when they open it, they can just reach in and grab the card out. So it's super, it's a super fun idea. I embellished the front of it with a couple of flowers that I received from a banner, um, the little trinkets that were inside a banner. I'm crazy about these flowers. I put a few little gems next to it just to kind of match the theme. And this is an older Starbucks card, so it's not available right now. I kind of hoarded them when they came out a couple of years ago. And um, I just activated this one as a gift and you can do that though so if you ever see cards in there that you really like go ahead and ask them if you can have them um, I happen to have a barista in the family so that is a little easier for me I can just kind of tell her what I'm looking for so I always have a stash on hand and then I can activate them when I want to they will last forever so that is a good thing to know if you ever see a design you really like so that's what I did there and then I just put a little fun thing on the inside of it um, a couple of coffee cups I colored up in the word enjoy and I trimmed it out with a little piece of the paper that was up there as well So that is the card that I made and I think it turned out super stinking cute and I used dyes that I already had So that makes it even more special Okay, I want to try these out real quick with you guys So I grabbed a piece of cardstock and that stencil that I just picked up not too long ago And I thought we would just see the differences between the two brushes Let me move this stuff out of the way I'm not going to get out any paper or anything to cover my desk. In fact, I think I'm going to order a new mat um, just to film with because this my mat gets so nasty, guys. I know everybody's doing the gray one right now, the, the one that's supposed to be clear but looks gray. Um, I have the smaller version of that, and I put it down, and it just has too much glare. It's not, it's not conclusive for filming, so I won't be using it to film with in my setup. I'm going to get another black one and just keep a clean one to put up here. So I do apologize that it's so dirty, but I do use it. Yeah, I do use it, so that's the thing. But I think for filming, I'll get a clean one to just leave out there. So I'm going to start with my Clarity brush, and I'm just going to pick up some ink. I'm using the Distress Oxides. It seems to be the only Distress inks I've been using lately, which is kind of funny considering that I didn't even like them, but I do now. And I'm just going to real just put some color down. I want to see the softness, how it looks, and how it compares to this other brush. And I figured since I was going to do that anyway, I might as well do that for you guys. And then also let you see this beautiful stencil. I haven't tried the stencil yet. Today's my first time, but I already know it's going to be beautiful. I'm really applying a little bit extra um, color. What I like about the Clarity brushes is they just give you a super, super soft look. All right, so we're going to leave that where it is, and we're going to use the other brush up on the top. Oh, I moved it. It doesn't matter. Okay. So these are much coarser. I mean, a lot coarser. They're, they're not the same feel at all. So I know that the effect is going to be different.
Okay, just gonna hold this down and we're gonna go right up here on top. As you can see, it put down a lot more color a lot quicker. I kind of like what I'm seeing though. All right, ready? Let's look. Ooh. They're about equal, guys. This one definitely has a little more texture right in here. Let me bring you closer. I don't know, I think it's pretty close. Okay, so here is the, the Clarity brush. Now remember, I got a much softer at first, remember that, but this is pretty soft too over here. So the benefit are the benefit is, is that you get two ends with this. Um, like I said, I'm not such a big fan of that, but now I'm wondering if I just went and bought those little shaving brushes. Hmm. I'm wondering. It does a great job though, look guys. So that is a Nuvo dual tipped blender brush and this is definitely a little softer but this is the clarity brushes and I like them both actually wow this applied the ink a little faster I feel but this one I could have gone much much lighter and I don't think I had that option for with this one to go much lighter super nice guys I really like both of these brushes, so yeah, this one's definitely a little darker. This one's a little bit lighter and softer, but you know, yeah, I'm very happy to have them both. I'm, I might actually pick up a few more of these. I was afraid that they would be real, um, which you could do, let's, let's just do that real quick, you know, real, I thought that's kind of the way that they would look on paper is kind of bristly. which is kind of a cool effect too, right? They certainly shed a lot. So you can definitely, if you're not using a stencil, you can definitely get a more textured look that you wouldn't be able to get with the clarity brushes. So let's just do that over here. You see that nice soft little haze you get right here? That's what I like about the Clarity brushes. Super pretty soft little haze you can get with it. Uh, so I like them both. I can't say that I like one more than the other. I like them both. All right, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. I will see you in the next video. Also, guys, I'm going to be uploading a couple more band four or five, five. I don't know. I got more banners to show you guys. I'm going to be filming those today. I've got the gorgeous girl video going up tomorrow morning. It's not going to go up today because I have other things scheduled for today and it, but it'll be going up tomorrow. And I have, what else? Oh, a public service announcement to make. All these videos that I've been shooting lately where you are hearing that beautiful princess granddaughter of mine screaming in the background. No children have been harmed in my videos, I promise you. I am filming as soon as grandpa gets home from work. Grandpa is taking over with these babies and they run him through his courses and that's all I can say. They get him. They, they, they know how to push his buttons and they chase each other and run down the hall and bang on things. And they don't usually do that when grandma is out there, but they do do it with grandpa. So just please know I've got to film when I've got the babies a lot right now and I've got to film when I can. And that means you will be hearing them in the background. Either they'll be in the office with me playing, which you guys have heard that plenty of times. But if grandpa is home, grandpa's in charge and they will Put him through his courses. 
And that's all I'm going to say about that. All right. I love you guys and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.